They tell me that I'm never gonna make it. They want me to do something that could... King's Roulette. King's Club. Coming back for part two of the Angels Columns. We're hoping for a little adversity this time. Uh, because we, streets. we we'd like to see it. This is Angel Streets. This is not Collins. This is Angel Streets. It's really uh, numbers around the wheel that are combined in these streets. Uh, so we're going to do. We're going to use a two thousand dollar buy-in, going for twenty three hundred, a fifteen percent profit. We're going to begin at fifteen dollars per street. We have eight streets out there, and so we're going to begin with. Uh, um, fifteen dollars. Uh, thankfully, the, the, these spins do not mean anything. We don't even care about them. So we're going to go to five dollars, so that I can go fifteen dollars on streets one, four, seven, ten, and then we're going to skip over to twenty-two. I got the angel right here for some kind of a mix-up. We're going to be good to go. Twenty-eight. We're going to skip a street and go to 34 here. Now this is this is going to wrap around as it goes. We're going to keep it this way, and uh, moving to the right, we're going to take a spin right now with $15 out there on these eight streets, single streets, 11 to one, and there is a $60 win. So we're going to continue to go. The 34 is actually moving over. We're going to go down $10 because we're Dell and Bear plus 2 minus 1. And we got streets 1, 4, 7, 10, and 13 now. And then we're going to skip to skip 3 to 25 at $10. 28, 31, and now 34 is vacant. And we're going to spin there. And that's the second set of streets, Angel Streets. Can't win on the zero. Okay, so now we're going to go to a $20 bet on four, seven, ten, thirteen, sixteen, skipping to 28. 31 and 34. Right, and we got somewhere. a $20 bet, $160. Yeah, yeah, $20, right? yeah. Okay, so that, that, that's where we, we're always going to be lined up this way as we're moving left to right. And we're at a $20 bet. And we're going to go to a $30 bet. This is actually exactly what we wanted. We're going to go to a $30 bet on the first street, skipping to the seventh. And the tenth. Thirteen. 16, 19, five in a row. Because we got to have five, right? Yeah. You have five in a row until you 19. Know. Then we're going to skip, skip three. to 31 and 34. Yeah. Because this really is three of them together here. And it's $30 each times eight streets, $240. We have a little adversity here. That's what we were wanting. And with that one, we're going to go to $25 on the 1st Street and on the 4th Street. And then we're going to skip to the 10th. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We'll have five now until it goes on all the way through. Five in a row. Making sure. These are 25. Twenty-five. 
Skip three. So we're going to skip three to 34 right now. $25. That's a $200 bet. All right. So now we're going to go to a $20 bet, and that's going to be four seven ten. And the four seven ten is going to skip to the sixteen. Whoops. And then we're going to skip to. You got them all. That, that's all of them. That's eight. That's all we get. Now we go to a fifteen dollar bet that begins on the seventh street. Seven, ten, thirteen, just like that. Skips to the night skips to the nineteenth. Right? And that's one. that's what we have. There's your gap. Now you gotta go up. We gotta go to twenty. Yep. Beginning on tenth twenty five. Twenty five. Twenty five. And there's your gap of three there. Now you go five. Skip one. We skip we, we went four. Oh you go five. Go to the fifth one? Yep, and then skip, then skip one. Then we skip one. And then one, two, three. Just straight like that, right? Yep. We will solve this Rubik's Cube for anyone who wants to play this because it's a solid way to, to go. <clears throat> So now we go to a $20 bet that begins on the 10th street. That's correct. Oh no, you have to go one more. It's going to rotate over. Start at 13th? No, yeah, it's going to start at the, the 5 is going to start on the 13th now. Okay. So we got a $20 bet starting there. Yep. Boom. And we skip to the 25th street. Yeah, you need five. Oh, that's the three you're rotating over. That's right, it's behind. I'm sorry. It's all right. I'm figuring it out because this has to go around. Yeah, no, that one goes around. That's correct. There you go. Right. Now, now we're cooking. And that's a $20 bet. Now we're cooking with The gas. configuration is different because... This is the way you're going to get these numbers to hit. Or not and, hit. And so then we're going to start at one and four with a $30 bet. Yep. And the $30 bet then goes to 16 mm -hmm. and we skip the three there. Yep. I guess I should turn it on airplane mode. That's right. I just showed the bit my Bitcoin going up. <laughs> you got all kinds of things going on. So we're going to skip the thirty one and go to the thirty four. Is that what we do there? Yep.
supposed to be thirty dollars times eight bets. That's correct. Okay, so we're going to have a twenty-five dollar bet starting here. And that's one and four. And then we're going to go to 16, skipping three. And we got these five like that, yeah. Angel? Yeah. At $25. Yeah, and then the 34s needs to be covered. You got to get that one, right? Yeah, there's a gap in between the three, one gap in between the three coming together. Just like that. Yeah. So now we're going to go to a $20 bet. I think there's a gap there now. Oh no, oh no, there's not. There's three. You tell me. There's three in a row. First three, right? Uh huh. So that's one four seven. Then we go to nineteen. Yep. And we got one more. Do we skip one to there? No, you have. Put five of them together. I, I think you have. I think you have to have five of them together. I don't think you. You haven't went down through the rotation of five because this will be the. When this one goes through, and this four, did these five numbers go over back over here? That's where you would have that gap of one. All right. So this is correct. Yeah. So now we're going down to a $15 bet, and we're actually at the original configuration. Well, not yet. You're not at the original configuration until you're at the four. That's three. Then there's a gap of three. Okay, go to 19. Supposed to be fifteen. Like that? Yeah. Three and five. The important thing is that you have three and five you you have eight streets, twenty-four numbers, and you have those gaps. And the other important thing is that's three hundred dollars. Yeah. And so we did, we had a little <laughs> adversity, but I don't think I'd go as far as calling it adversity. Um, and I think that we're probably going to, rightfully so, be asked to list this out in a schematic. And we're going to put it together in a schematic for you so that you can know this is what you got and this is the way the rotation is because it is critical that you get it right. And um, I was going to, to work a different uh, uh, modification tonight, but... Uh, the angel came in with this joker in the deck, which obviously caught me flat-footed as you saw me struggling into going through it, but he was right here beside me as he always is to say, nope, go there, go there, go there. And, uh, and that's how it worked out so smoothly. So you can't see all these notes I had scribbled down and uh, they helped somewhat and otherwise uh, the angel guided me through it. So you saw how well it worked. It does work, it's nice and solid and it's actually uh, more adversity is what we wanted, but we still didn't have as much as I would have liked. But uh, I did want to have some adversity as we went through this. And we're, we're going to put out some more of these, but um, let, I, we might just uh, shotgun the schematic out uh, ahead of time. So we'll, we'll put that together uh, and uh, just, just uh, shotgun it out for everybody to see. And, the kings and queens, of course. Oh, of course, the kings and queens, yeah, because you, you guys are going to be playing it. But the low rollers can move this all the way down to a dollar per, per.
per street. You can do it however you want to do it. It's, uh, start at three dollars and then go one, go two up and one down, and uh, play just, through it. It just has that space problem. All the low rollers, the low rollers always will have a space problem with the D'Alembert. You know, you, the that space that you always talk that you need. Not to get. not the space between the streets. He's talking about the space between the bedding sequence. Yes. Yeah, yeah, and that and that that does uh adds that does risk. complicate matters and adds risk, but uh, we we've got to play with it with what we have yeah. and and we we're always trying to refine the the Dellum Bear because the Dellum Bear is often used uh, just as a solid way to win, but it's also used as a rescue for Fibonacci, and so we're trying to get more and more refined as you're watching this thing the calculus of how things are going together is is getting uh more complicated but you're all getting sharper at it too and so you're understanding that this okay this is 38 numbers but how do we assemble them in a ways that we can leverage them and that we can be professional players at this not entertainment not going in for three hours of play to see can we sit at the table all night long we want you to go in and make your money and, and go out because this is the entire mission statement of this is for professional play. And we want you to be professionals. We want you to be making making the money as full time or making the money as, as side hustle, one or the other, but recurring consistently making money at this dreaded place to casino where they are such predators on so many people. And we would like to exact our own revenge, and we'd like to do it as often as we can. And I think you hear it in my tone, because that's how I feel about it. Um, so, this is what we have. This is Angel Streets, and that's uh, named after the angel. He came up with these numbers, and, and it's a valuable commodity to have in your toolbox. For the angel, the king, bids you adieu.